Hi, thanks for joining us here at Inspire. Uh, today I'm joined by Faye Bracknock, the mental health wellbeing educator and practitioner for Inspire Learning. Hi, Faye, thanks for joining us. Hi, Neil, good to see you again. Thanks for having me on. We've got a big week coming up for mental health and wellbeing, uh, 18th of May. Can you tell us exactly what's happening? Yeah, so 18th to 24th of May is Mental Health Awareness Week. And this year, the theme is kindness. So we're going to be looking at things we can do to be kind to ourselves and be kind to other people. So why the theme of kindness, Faye? Well, being kind to ourselves and being kind to other people is really, really important for our own happiness and for our own mental health and well-being. So there's been extensive studies that have been done into this. So the more that we help others, it actually boosts our own well-being. So thinking about kindness, it's not actually something that we're taught as children or even taught as adults. It's a skill that we learn. So I want to talk to you about what kindness is, what it means and how we can start embedding it in our lives to get those benefits, not just for ourselves, but for other people as well. So kindness is about being friendly, it's about being considerate, and it's about being generous. It's been proven that by helping other people actually makes us happier and boosts our own well-being. This week, we're going to be looking at things that you can do to be kind to yourself and kind to others. To be kind to yourself this week, I would suggest that you take really, really good care of yourself. Really simply, that could be getting up, getting the shower or a bath or a wash, putting clean clothes on, brushing your teeth, um, really taking care of just those basic things that we need to do to stay healthy. I read somewhere recently, um, somebody said, don't let your dressing gown become your depressing gown. And I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, and very much fits into how we, you know, how we're kind to ourselves because it does boost us when we do get up and, and sort of make that effort. However, saying that it's also fine to have that duvet day or have that pajama day because that can be being kind to yourself as well. It's really important to be kind to others and staying in touch with people and still building on those connections. So what I would suggest is, you know, when your partner or someone from your family or one of your children does something good, tell them and tell them how proud of them you are. They sound like two really nice tips on how to uh, be kind to self, but other people. Staying connected really is important at this time, certainly. Uh, thanks very much for that, Faye. Can we come back to you tomorrow for some more tips? Yes, definitely. Excellent. We will do.